going on everybody this is DK Dynamite and today what I have for you guys is some Black Ops 3 Eclipse multiplayer coverage. Today we're going to be taking a look at Spire which is a pretty incredible brand new map. Now as Sherrick has said Spire takes multiplayer combat to a futuristic suborbital airport terminal set high in the clouds. Multiple levels and open areas promote intense mid-range combat around the clean high-tech civilian environment. Watch your step because one wrong move could send you plummeting back through these stratospheres. So to be completely honest with you, this has to be my second most favorite map here in the Eclipse DLC. I have been reading a lot of comments under a lot of Call of Duty websites and gaming websites. And a lot of people have been saying that so far the DLC map packs that Treyarch has provided us with have been pretty dry, but I really have to disagree with that. I think Treyarch has done a pretty fantastic job with not only the new zombie maps, but also with the new exciting multiplayer maps as well. You know, not only does this map feel like it fits with the chain movement system, but it's colorful, it's bright, and there's a lot of nice open areas of the map where you can just explore and use your wall running abilities, so on and so forth. So. Also, something I wanted to bring up was the fact that my little tradition this year with Black Ops 3 DLC is to include mini Tomahawk montages at the beginning of every multiplayer video. You know, I was thinking about how I wanted to do my DLC videos this year. I was deciding whether I should do live gameplays or mini montages of my best clips and kills, but I decided why not bring you guys a nice casual gameplay commentary of each new multiplayer map and also include a little mini Tomahawk montage with some dubstep at the beginning of of the video as well i just feel like it, it it really represents my channel in a professional way and it just shows you that i put a lot of time and dedication into editing recording and just focusing on my content altogether so around two to three months ago i uploaded a video talking about my passion for tomahawks here within the call of duty franchise and as i mentioned i've been throwing tomahawks ever since black ops 1 i threw them in black ops 2 and i even enjoyed throwing knives within modern warfare 2 modern warfare 3 and within ghost as well so the fact that we have combat axes here in black ops 3 just gives me more of a reason to even enjoy multiplayer and actually aim for something every time i play a match so again i love getting bank shot tomahawks across the map i love casually killing players out of nowhere with some nice badass tomahawks so i also mentioned i was going to upload a tomahawk montage sometime this summer and i'm still planning on doing that i want to put a lot of time and effort into that video but until then i'm still going to be including these mini tomahawk montages at the beginning of every dlc video it gives you a nice feel of the new multiplayer map and it also shows you that i just love throwing tomahawks no matter what map i'm playing so this map again is pretty small and i love the environment itself i think it's cool that treyarch has explored these in the clouds type multiplayer maps as we of course know we of course have the skyjacked multiplayer map which is a remake from hijacked from black ops 2 that map takes place in the sky and here we have another map taking place in the sky as well which is very unique i know we also have that map infection which is actually a core multiplayer map which is also taking place in the sky as well so again all these different maps that Treyarch has brought us really adds a different sense of exclusivity here within Black Ops 3 you know we haven't had multiplayer maps like these in previous Call of Duties you know Treyarch always goes all out with their DLCs they always give us something to look forward to and obviously we have zombies in this game as well so there's so much to look forward to every time a map pack is announced the only thing I would say is I'm a little disappointed that we don't have DLC weapons with these map packs now you know instead of having them released with the map pack itself they're of course getting released into the black market and you have to of course earn them through supply drops so again the conversation can keep on going but recently again Treyarch has implemented contracts which will allow you to earn weapon bribes in multiplayer so again that increases our chances of getting some of the new weapons that you might want such as the MX Grand, the HD40, any of the melee weapons so they're really trying to make up for not releasing weapons into the map pack so again it's all about what happens behind closed doors between Treyarch and Activision and it's all about what Treyarch is allowed to implement here within Black Ops 3 but here within this gameplay I do earn all of my streaks I played this match when I was a pretty low rank so I didn't have many streaks to actually choose from but definitely hope you enjoy my clips and kills and this nice gameplay here on Spire as well stay tuned for some more Black Ops 3 Eclipse DLC coverage a lot of my coverage was delayed due to all the information regarding Call of Duty Infinite Warfare which is of course Infinity Ward's next entry in the Call of Duty series. So again, I am getting right back on track with all of my Eclipse coverage. Stay tuned in for some more multiplayer DLC videos as well as plenty of episodes of Zombies Tips and Tutorials covering everything there is to know on Zetsubo no Shima. This has been DK Dynamite. Peace. Drop. The wind
Titans in sight. Stay on target. UAV on standby. Spectre KIA. Hostile HCXD. Yeah. 